Hello, I'm Richard with ev for You Custom Conversions. And in today's video, we're going to talk about uh, the power steering again. We kind of introduced the power steering in a previous video. And so this one, we're going to talk a little bit more about the uh, power steering that's going into this 1964 Mercedes 230 SL. Now, as you know, when you remove the a gasoline engine, you lose the power steering pump. So uh, we have to come up with a, an alternative. In this case, we're using an electro hydraulic pump. It's, um, its normal application is out of a 2005 Toyota MR2. We bought a new pump out of the box and is being installed in this vehicle. Be sure to check that previous video as far as how we mounted it, location, and so forth. Now, in order to do that, we needed to have hoses that go from the power steering box to the rack um, and then to the pump and match. So the pump has this type of fitting, and the pump on the pressure side has this type of fitting. So, as with everything else on this uh, project, we ordered the fitting, we, we took it in, had it sized, they ordered the fitting, they ordered the wrong one. The original fitting came in in about a week. To get the correct size took an additional three and a half weeks, which has been par on this vehicle. The, uh, the owner had took three attempts to get the car transported to us. And I won't go into any of the details, but on the third try, the vehicle indeed made it to our location here. But then it wouldn't start on the trailer, so we had to push it off the trailer, work on it to get to drive it into the warehouse here. And then uh, the batteries, the original uh, 50 cells that we ordered for this project got lost, so we had to reorder them. They sent a second shipment, and, and then they sat down uh, two and a half hours from us in Sacramento for six days. For what reason, nobody seems to know. So it's just been one thing after another like this. We are still waiting on the adapter coupler after over three months. And, uh, and I don't know how many phone calls and emails. So we're going to talk about that soon, though. So anyway, in order to adapt this power steering to this vehicle, we needed this coupler, which goes from the pressure side of the pump and then mates to this hose. And then this other side of the hose goes to the steering rack. Of course, the return side is simple. It's simply a hose and a hose clamp will go on that side and we've got the fitting here. And so, in addition to having to have different fittings, of course, the links were different and so forth. So, anyway, that's some of the stuff that you have to deal with and consider when doing a conversion and modifying things from their original uh, condition. So let me give you a quick little uh, shot of this then. With it installed, we'll, we'll put the hoses in. Uh, we'll do that on camera, but we'll install the hoses. It's mounted and wired, and uh, then we'll give you a, a close-up shot of what that looks like once it's completed.
Here's the uh, power steering pump installed right here. Uh, the wiring hasn't been tied up neatly and bloomed or anything like that, so you can see some loose wiring there, but it has been uh, wired where it needs to go. Here's the plumbing. Take it down here to the steering rack. So that's the return on the bottom there. Pressure side on top. And they're just temporarily routed behind our vacuum pump. The vacuum pump will not be there as we discussed in our power brake um, video. That's just a temporary location. And so these are not permanently routed hoses. Uh, we're not going to be able to show you the power steering running on camera today as I am lacking a 7.5 amp fuse that's required as well as fluid. I don't have any fluid at the moment. But anyway, as far as the wiring, it's going to come off of our fuse block over here and it comes over to a relay that's the power steering relay and from there it uh, goes both to the controls here on the power steering pump as well as it goes through our um, circuit breaker so here's power coming from the battery and then through the relay so from the battery through the circuit breaker through the relay contacts and to the pump. Now, it's a 50 amp circuit. That's a 50 amp circuit breaker, so forth. So, that's the power steering. This is shock mounted in place here. It, um, it's ready to be tested. We just need to get the fuse and the fluid. We're ready to go on that. So, just a quick little uh, video showing the uh, completion of installing the power steering pump. Um, in the future, we'll have a video of uh, the pump in operation. But uh, for now, that's part two. We'll have one more, part three on the power steering. But good news. We should be getting the adapter coupler in this next week. So um, about the time that this video will air, you, we will, not you, we will have the adapter coupler in our possession. Now, hopefully everything is, is as it should be. So uh, first thing we do, uh, when we receive it is we're going to give it a good inspection, make sure it fits, make sure that uh, it uh, looks like everything is to spec. So, um, which would mean putting the, you know, mounting it on the motor. First we're going to try the fit on the uh, bell housing, um, then we'll mount it onto the motor, mount the uh, coupler first, put the adapter on, mount the flywheel, and uh, make sure everything has the clearance, make sure that magic number is what it should be. But we'll detail that in an upcoming video, and so hopefully uh, in the next few weeks we can get back on track and start bringing you regular videos in this series featuring this Mercedes. So. Thanks for staying with us. Uh, sorry there's been such a delay, but we've just been waiting on the adapter coupler and that's just put you know, a, a glitch in the whole thing. So once that is uh, in-house and fitted, installed, we can then design and build our motor mounts. Once the motor is in place, we can do the front battery rack. Once we know exactly how many cells we can fit in the front rack, 
uh, based on having that motor in place and doing some real precise measurements. As we mentioned before, this is going to be a very tight fit. Our goal is to get 30 cells in the front of the vehicle here. And then once that is established, then we can also do the rear battery rack. And you can see things start to accelerate then, as well as, you know, locating and mounting the uh, dual controllers for this setup, um, the cooling system for the controllers, um, so forth. So we hope you stay with us. Hope to be back again soon. Until then, enjoy the drive.